quality assurance and quality control in microbiology laboratories, the key to reliable results. When it comes to ensuring the safety, quality, and efficacy of pharmaceutical products, the role of microbiology laboratories cannot be overstated. Whether it's detecting contaminants or confirming the sterility of products, these labs are on the front lines of safeguarding public health. However, none of this would be possible without strong quality assurance, QA, and quality control, QC, systems in place. But what exactly is QA and QC in the context of a pharmaceutical microbiology lab? Let's dive into these essential concepts, breaking them down in a friendly, approachable way so that you can understand how they work together to produce accurate, reliable results every single time. What is quality assurance, QA? Think of quality assurance as the roadmap that outlines every step a laboratory must take to ensure that its work meets the highest standards. QA is the broader system that ensures quality at every level, from hiring skilled personnel to calibrating equipment and validating testing methods. It's about creating and following procedures that prevent errors before they happen. In a pharmaceutical microbiology lab, QA is what makes sure that the right processes are in place. It's the part of the system that says, here's how we will operate to meet regulatory standards and sets the stage for quality control to function effectively. What is quality control, QC? While QA is the system, quality control is more like the day-to-day -day checks and balances. QC involves the practical measures that ensure the laboratory's processes are delivering the desired results. This could include using control samples during tests or performing regular equipment checks. Essentially, QC is how you ensure that everything is functioning as it should be. QC operates within the framework of QA to monitor ongoing activities in the lab. It's how laboratories ensure that each test, from sterility to microbial identification, is carried out precisely and consistently, minimizing the risk of errors. Internal quality control, keeping things in check. Internal quality control, IQC, is about what happens within the lab to maintain quality. It includes various strategies that allow labs to monitor and ensure the accuracy of their testing procedures over time. One, control samples, the standard benchmarks. One of the most fundamental QC measures is the use of control samples. By including both positive and negative control samples in tests, laboratories can confirm that their methods are working as expected. A positive control contains known quantities of microorganisms, while a negative control should be free from microorganisms. If your controls produce unexpected results, it's a clear sign that something may be wrong with the testing process and corrective action can be taken. Two, proficiency testing, the laboratory report card. Proficiency testing is like giving your lab a regular report card. It involves sending samples to multiple laboratories to see how well they perform on the same tests. This helps to evaluate whether your lab's results are consistent with others and if there are areas for improvement. External proficiency tests provide an extra layer of validation, helping labs ensure that their testing methods are producing reliable results. Three, replicate testing. Consistency is key. Replicate testing is all about checking if your lab can produce the same results repeatedly. By testing the same sample multiple times, you can assess the precision and repeatability of your method. If you get consistent results, that's a good sign your method is reliable. Four, trending and monitoring, catching problems early. Over time, labs should trend and monitor their results to look for patterns or deviations. This helps identify potential issues before they become significant problems. If trends show that your results are drifting or becoming less reliable, you'll know it's time to adjust the method, recalibrate equipment, or retrain personnel. External quality assurance, validating results across the board. While internal QC is crucial, external validation helps ensure that your lab's results hold up when compared to other laboratories. This is where external quality assurance, EQA, programs come into play. Why is EQA important? EQA programs allow laboratories to validate their performance by testing standardized samples provided by regulatory authorities or independent organizations. By comparing results with those from other labs, EQA programs provide a powerful tool for identifying inconsistencies and ensuring compliance with regulatory standards. Participation in EQA is often a regulatory requirement and is also a way to gain an independent assessment of your laboratory's testing accuracy. 
Plus, EQA results can highlight areas where your lab excels or needs improvement, offering an opportunity for continuous development. Equipment calibration and maintenance, keeping tools in top shape. Laboratories depend on their equipment to deliver accurate results, which is why calibration and maintenance are so important. After all, even the best testing methods will fail if the tools used aren't functioning properly. One calibration, ensuring accuracy. Calibration is the process of checking and adjusting equipment to make sure it provides accurate readings. For example, thermometers and incubators need to be calibrated regularly to maintain the correct temperatures required for microbial incubation. Calibration must be performed against certified reference standards to ensure traceability and accuracy. Two, maintenance, preventing breakdown. Maintenance ensures that equipment runs smoothly and doesn't break down at crucial moments. Routine maintenance, whether it's cleaning, servicing, or replacing parts, prevents malfunctions that could lead to inaccurate test results. Labs must follow the manufacturer's maintenance recommendations, and all maintenance activities should be well documented. Three, performance verification. Is everything working? Calibration and maintenance aren't enough on their own. Equipment must also undergo regular performance verification to make sure it continues to function within acceptable limits. For example, autoclaves used for sterilization should be verified to ensure they reach the required temperature and pressure for the correct duration. Personnel training and competency, the backbone of a quality lab. No laboratory, no matter how advanced, can deliver reliable results without skilled and well-trained personnel. In fact, one of the most critical aspects of QA and QC is ensuring that laboratory staff are competent and up-to-date with the latest techniques. One initial training, building a solid foundation. Before personnel can conduct tests independently, they must receive thorough initial training in key microbiological techniques. This includes aseptic handling, colony counting, media preparation, and microorganism identification. Only after demonstrating proficiency under supervision should staff be allowed to work independently. Two, ongoing training, staying current. Even after personnel are trained, ongoing training is essential. The pharmaceutical landscape is constantly evolving and laboratories must keep up with new techniques, regulatory changes, and best practices. Regular refresher courses ensure that personnel remain competent and informed. Three, competency assessments regular check-ins. Finally, laboratories should conduct competency assessments to evaluate personnel's ability to perform tests accurately. These assessments help ensure that staff are consistently delivering high-quality results and maintaining the standards of the laboratory. Conclusion, the power of QA and QC in microbiology labs. In the world of pharmaceutical microbiology, quality assurance and quality control aren't just nice-to-haves, they're essential. Without robust QA and QC systems, laboratories would struggle to produce reliable, accurate results, potentially compromising product safety and efficacy. From internal controls like proficiency testing and equipment calibration to external validation through EQA programs, every element of QA and QC works together to uphold the highest standards in laboratory operations. And, of course, none of this would be possible without skilled and competent personnel. By investing in comprehensive QA and QC systems, laboratories can ensure they're producing results that pharmaceutical manu. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found the content informative and helpful as we explored the important aspects of pharmaceutical microbiology and laboratory testing. At PharmaTox, we are committed to delivering valuable insights, expert knowledge, and the latest updates on pharmaceutical practices and innovations. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on everything related to the pharmaceutical industry, be sure to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on our in-depth discussions, interviews with industry experts, and practical tips for success in the pharma world. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're the first to know when we release new content. Whether you're a student, professional, or just someone interested in pharmaceuticals, PharmaTalks has something for everyone. Thank you again for your support, and we look forward to having you as part of our growing PharmaTalks community. See you in the next video.